Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Mind Lectures Online. Uh, today we are doing mathematics and four graphs and we are given a question here which says sketch and clearly label the graph 25 x squared plus 16 y squared minus 400 equals to 0. And uh, we know that when we are given an equation and we are told to sketch the graph of that equation, we have to first put it in a standard form. And just by just taking 25x squared and 16y squared, we can tell that this graph, it's, a, it's an ellipse because it can't be a circle because no matter what number we divide by, we are not going to be left with x squared plus y squared as it is. We're going to be left with x having a coefficient and y having a coefficient. So for them to be left with a coefficient, uh it means this is an ellipse and uh, let's try to put this in a standard form we'll take 400 to the other side so we'll be left with 25 x squared plus 16 y squared equals to 400 then from there we try to remove this coefficients here and uh leave them underneath here and then to do that we are going to divide by 25 and 16 here and also divide by 25 and 16 so doing that we have 25 times 16 over 25 times 16 what we do in the left hand side we do on the right hand side 25 times 16 so this 25 and this 25 is going to cancel out 16 and 16 it's going to cancel out will be left with x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equals to 400 over 25 times 16 it's equals to 1 and uh, after doing that we try to uh, Actually, we don't try to, we have to put this into something to the power 2 as that's the standard form for an ellipse, which is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to 1. To do that, we'll realize that 16 is 4 squared, so we're going to have x squared over 4 squared plus y squared. 25 is 5 squared, so it's going to be 5 squared equals to 1. And then again like any other graph you would want to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept so the y-intercept x equals to 0 and the x-intercept y equals to 0 and then doing that if we put x as 0 here, yeah, this is going to be 0. So we're going to be left with y squared over 5 squared equals to 1. And y squared is going to be 5 squared. Therefore, y equals to plus minus 5. This side, we're going to be left with uh, x squared over 4 squared equals to 1 x squared equals to 4 squared and x equals to plus minus 4 and then when you go to the Cartesian plane to sketch this graph we're going to have something like this There's our y axis and this our x axis. There's our five and there's our negative five. And there's somewhere it's our four. Somewhere it's our negative four. So our graph is going to be something like this uh, it's 
not really a cycle but uh, something like an oval it's just that four and five they're almost close to each other so you can't see it but it's it has stretched uh, vertically more than it is uh, horizontally and then they would ask you what is the sometimes they would ask you what is the range of this graph and what is the domain the range is like the y values that uh, this graph reaches and if you check the y values it's from negative 5 to 5 so it's going to be negative 5 to 5 and the x values in negative 4 to 4 and that's it and then sometimes they would ask you things like uh, is this a function and to test whether it's a function or a relation you just draw a vertical line and if that vertical line touches a graph once then it's a function but it, if it touches it twice then it's not a function if you check here if you do this it touches it here and here so therefore this is not a function so those are the typical questions that they ask in the test thank you for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos and also liking our social media channels uh, platforms i meant to say on facebook where magnanimous minds uh, instagram where magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous mean one thank you